but does not do what his masters want, will be beaten with many clothes. But the one who does not know and does find deserving punishment will be beaten with a few bones. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be added. The word of God for you, the people of God. Our subject simply is this morning, how much do I owe him? How much do we owe the Lord? Now, now, let me say first and foremost, I hope this much you, but so I'm here this morning, as I get into my message, into my sermon, some might say, after hearing this message, that the pastor is fussing. Taylor, that is not my motive. But I do come to remind each of us of our obligation to God. I wondered, and I've asked God, what else can I do to persuade people to come and be involved in service? The old saying, legality breeds contempt. It could be at work. And some might say, I, I've heard the pastor preach many times uh, and I already know what he's going to say. Uh, so, so I don't have to be there as much. Uh, I don't have to attend Bible study or Sunday school for I know what he's going to say. Uh, uh, my time is precious uh, and I don't want to spend all day at church. But first, first, as your pastor, let me clear up one thing. This message is not designed to fuss at you or to raise hell at you. Wow. No, it is to remind you of your promise to God and Jesus. As you said, you would do your best to be a Christian that they talk about God and the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit that they could be proud of. Uh, as his children, as his children, listen, listen, uh, each of us need to realize uh, it's Jesus first uh, and everything else comes after that. Uh, uh, I think I need to say that again. Uh, 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 it's Jesus first and everything else uh, come after that. Uh, with all of the sicknesses, uh, the accidents, the struggling, have you ever for one minute thought that just maybe God is trying to tell us something? Uh, could it be Jesus saying, you are wandering away, so I need you to return to your first love. Uh, it's only, it's only Taylor, when we get our priorities right, uh, that God will bless us. I know, I know some of you, some of you get caught up with the Bible saying rains on the just as well as the unjust, which is right. Uh, but if you're a child of God, he said, I will open the windows of heaven uh, and pour you out blessings. Uh, there's room and not enough to receive it. That's why some of you are getting more bare minimum and some is getting an overflow. Uh, it's because you're God's children uh, and you are being obedient. It's when we get our priorities right. Uh, 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 things come our way. We surely must conclude uh, that much has been given to us. Uh, you know, I think Paul was there said that again. Look around me. Look around me. Uh, look around me. Uh, uh, I'm not talking about looking at somebody else. I'm talking about looking at your own home. Huh? Much has been given to us. Therefore, huh, we have a tremendous obligation. I think that's what Jesus is saying in this 12th chapter of Luke. Uh, you know, is watch out. Uh, be on guard uh, against those things that rob you of your thankfulness. Every child of God here ought to be thankful. Uh, 
in verse 15, in verse 15, he begins uh, to talk about grief. He said, watch out. Uh, be on guard against all kind of greed. Uh, for a man does life, a man life does not consist uh, in the abundance of his possessions. Uh, uh, coming in, coming in, Brother Evans, I passed by the house, right? there was a small house, there were four cars, part side by side. I told my mother, I said, three cars in that front yard. But those four cars does not do you a bit of good if your soul is not right. Uh, it does not consist of, of what you have. Uh, we may have a lot of things, but life is not measured uh, by how much we possess. No, no. In the next few verses here, Jesus tells us not to let worry and uh, anxiety ruin our lives. Uh, he talks about the birds. Uh, 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 the birds are there. He talks about the lily of the fields uh, and how God cares for them. Uh, and he tells us, uh, I take care of them, and you are worth much more uh, than the birds uh, and the leaves of the field. Uh, in verse 31, we are, we are, we are told uh, to seek his kingdom uh, first, first, first. Uh, and then these things. Uh, uh, and then these things. Uh, and then these things. Uh, will be given to you as well. Uh, as I talk to various members, uh, trying to show them and tell them that God is right there and God sees your situation. Uh, he knows what you are going through. Uh, just because you are in the midst of trials and tribulations, it does not mean that God is not there and that God does not see what you are going through. Uh, as I talk to them and they're telling me, uh, uh, many of them say, yeah, Pastor, I, I hear you, uh, but I got to work. Uh, uh, the reason I'm not at church, I got to work. I, I got to pay bills. Uh, I just shook my head. Uh, for it tells me who you're trusting in. Uh, uh, each of us, yes, has the responsibility. Uh, all of us have obligations to fulfill. Uh, but that's not the issue. The issue is, who are you trusting in? Huh? Are you trusting in your job? Huh? Or are you trusting in Jesus? Do you know he is the one uh, that gave you that job? Huh? Huh? Allow me to reach that verse 31. We are told about Jesus. Some of you didn't catch it the first time. Seek his kingdom first, and these things will be given to you as well. Huh? He concludes, he concludes by saying in verse 34, for where your treasure is, for where your treasure is, uh, there your heart will be also. Uh, regardless of our place uh, or our position in life, I'm, I'm convinced, you may not be, but I'm convinced that all of us here have been given much uh, Far more than most that you deserve, huh? You have been given much, huh? most, more than most of the people of the world. And therefore, in God's sight, huh, you owe it, huh? Uh, you and I are indebted to him. Uh, how much do I owe him? Uh, uh, I believe that God has given us much to us, and therefore, as a result, he expects much from us too much is given, guess what? Much is required. Uh, we are so blessed uh, this morning. Uh, have you ever started to think about that? Uh, you woke up this morning. Uh, you had strength this morning. Uh, why are you one of those 400,000 who have already died? Uh, why are we among the oppressed people of the world unable to move about in freedom? Uh, why are you not the one lying this morning on the operation board? Uh, God has been good to us. How much? How much do I have? Uh, we have, we, we, we have so much. Uh, uh, look around you, look around you. We have cushion peas. Air conditioned buildings. Uh, and beautiful windows and even carpet floors. Uh, go upstairs, we have classrooms. Uh, 
Look to my left, we have musicians and ministers behind me and people out there with talent. Uh, Jesus was telling his disciples, uh, you need to be ready and not get caught up with your work undone. Uh, uh, that's how I'm saying. I'm not fussing. I'm saying be ready because you know not the day nor the hour that the Son of Man will come. Uh, too many, too many feel as if they can put it off. Uh, in other words, uh, procrastinate. Uh, I don't have to be there today. I don't have to attend Bible study. I can do that later. Uh, the words of a procrastinator. Uh, it is found in verse 45. Uh, we read, he said, my Lord delayed his coming. Uh, my brothers and sisters here today, uh, I must warn you that when you procrastinate, uh, uh, bad things happen to those that are following you. Uh, in this case, they started, uh, if you go back and read the scripture, uh, 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 the boss man had went away and he had left someone in charge. Uh, and he had been gone a while, and he had to come back, and the people in charge, uh, they began to act like they were in charge. Uh, so they started to beat the men servants and the maid servants. Uh, they began to eat uh, and drink and became drunk. That's the leaders. That's the leaders. That's the leader. And as soon as soon as the other servants uh, began uh, to see what the leaders were doing, uh -huh, uh -huh. guess what? Guess what, church? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leaders, uh, you must realize that your every move uh, is watched. Uh, and those that are following us uh, will soon do the same thing they see us do. Huh? Because they started to get drunk. Guess what? Huh? The people under them would start to drink. Huh? They would start to act good. Uh, if we are faithful in attendance coming out, huh, the people will be faithful. Huh? If we are dutiful in our own work, huh, they will be dutiful. Huh? But on the downside, if we are slowful, huh, they too will be slowful. Huh? I'm telling you that we should be careful how we lead huh? because we have people that are following in our footsteps. I'm talking to our leaders. Huh? And some of you all will say, I'm not a leader. Oh, yes, you are. Huh? Oh, yes, you are. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So bad things happen to those who follow us. Huh? In verse 48, he said, He that knew not huh, and did commit things worthy of stripes huh, shall be beaten with a few stripes. Huh? You may not know the word, but you're going to be beaten anyway. Huh? But as a leader, guess what? We too will not be exempt. In fact, huh, our trouble will be greater. Huh? In fact, our trouble will be greater. I need to say that again. Huh? Because verse 46 said, The Lord of that servant huh, will come in a day he look not for him. He will look up and there he is. And he will cut him in sunder. And he will appoint him a portion with the unbelievers. Oh, I'm hoping you get it. I'm hoping you get it. Yeah. And verse 47 said, That sir, uh, who knew his Lord's will uh, and prepared not himself, uh, neither did according to his will, uh, shall be beaten with many Stripes, huh? Oh, uh, those who didn't know the way they were hooked with a few stripes, huh? But you who know better, huh? huh you're gonna be beaten with what, huh? Or many stripes, huh? Oh, as a child coming up, some of you did, uh, sometimes you got a spanking, huh? From mama, huh? But then sometimes you just got a downright good beating, didn't you? Huh, huh? You knew the difference, huh? 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 Well, 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 it's about my time, huh? 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 In closing, I should warn you, huh? Of the awesome responsibility that is laid upon each of us. Uh, uh, you have to go. I'm talking to us leaders. Uh, uh -huh. You have to go when no one else uh, wants to. You, you will be making a covenant with the Lord uh, and promising Him that you will do what you are assigned to do. Uh, if you have to go by yourself, guess what? Be faithful. Uh, uh, if the family don't understand, be faithful. Uh, if it means turning down a little overtime, uh, be faithful. Why? Uh, because the Lord, Jehovah Jireh, will provide for you. It means trusting in Jesus, uh, not for one thing, uh, but for all things. Uh, I don't know this morning, which servant will you be? 
all of the sickness, the accidents, and the struggling to make he and me talk. Taylor, it's no accident, Tom. Jesus is trying to get our little attention. And, and I'm praying this morning that I have those just for a few moments. Uh, I told you before, uh, I'm telling you again, uh, trust Jesus. Uh, and he is able to make it all right. Tom. You see, faithfulness is measured in terms of relationships. Uh, the interesting thing is uh, that the servant of the manager, uh, in the story we talked earlier, considered himself uh, to be a member of the master's household, uh, even when his lifestyle uh, does not match his claim. Uh, he calls the owner's master, uh, but he does not act like one of the master's servants. Uh, he neglects uh, his responsibility. He seems to have forgotten the responsibility that he has been given and he is only for himself. Uh, he is eminent though his master will never return uh, and that he alone is in charge uh, of the entire estate. Uh, Taylor, uh, uh, we have folk uh, who do not consider themselves uh, to be lost uh, or on the outside of God's kingdom. Uh, they will even say they belong to God, uh, but they do not act like a servant of God. Uh, they have neglected their responsibility and become engrossed with satisfying their own desires. Uh, they have forgotten the responsibility that God has given them. Uh, the man, the man, I'm getting there, uh, the man in the parable. Uh, God had that his master delayed meant that he would not return. Uh, our church, uh, we don't want to make the same mistake, huh? One of the biggest sins of the church today is forgetfulness. Uh, it shows itself uh, in the sin of apathy. Uh, uh, we get busy uh, going about all things of life uh, and we forget what our priorities should be. Uh, we forget uh, the responsibilities and the work uh, that the master has given us to do. Uh, they're made of me, uh, Christians, uh, so committed to sport teams uh, for their children. Uh, I can be about study tonight, Pastor. Uh, my, my child is playing football at the middle of the league. Yeah. Uh, they're made of me, uh, that they're more committed. Uh, music and lessons. Uh -huh. Dances uh -huh. and other lessons uh -huh. they have uh -huh. so little commitment uh -huh. to the things uh -huh. that develop the spiritual lives of the children. Uh -huh. They all, uh -huh. they all the things. Uh -huh. But why can't we have uh -huh. the same commitment to uh -huh. do the things uh -huh. that develop spiritual lives? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It seems uh -huh. to be every day uh -huh. I go watch uh -huh. TV uh -huh. But I can't find the time uh -huh. To be with God each day uh -huh. There's always time uh -huh. To read the paper uh -huh. But no time uh -huh. To read the word of God uh -huh. We are hired To uh -huh. get to God at work Uh -huh. The woman, uh -huh. the spirit is shaking. 
glorious friend that I am what Jesus was to the healing. We compare that to the six. In January when the crowd pressed to the capital king in the sprawl. What a difference the day you made. And Father, it's more than again that thy servant has come before thee. We come as humble as we know how, Lord God. We come because we know that you have all power in thy name. Regardless of what the situation may be, you have a solution to that problem. Whether it be financial, whether it be physically, whether it be mentally, or maybe it just, we just don't understand what the problem is. We know that you have the answer. We know that the earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. God loves to pray that thou heal, fix, build on whatever our problem may be. We know that, 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 we know that you can, we don't let it leave. For all power is in thy hand. God loves to pray that thou bless our nation. That's our, our politicians, yes. our governor, our mayor, our senators. Yeah. Our change the Lord, our presidency. Our Lord, we pray that, we, that there will be a peaceful solution there. We know that, that we got more military pieces there around the White House than they have in this time. Yes. Never before have this such an action that I don't have, but we know that you, you, we, you still have all the power in our hands. Thank you. 